up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do Hi everyone, welcome back to Jabara. It's Barb. In today's video, we have a ton of cleaning motivation. The house was completely destroyed and it needed a good clean. I'm gonna start here in the kitchen, unload the dishwasher, load it back up. We're gonna be cleaning off these countertops wiping everything down, doing all the things in here. We're also going to be cleaning the pantry and the laundry room. It was absolutely horrible in there and y'all know I'm trying to keep up with that more so I wanted to go in there and tidy up a bit. We're also going to clean the dining room, the kids' bathroom, so I hope y'all are in need of some cleaning motivation. If you stay to the end of the video, of course you're going to get those satisfying before and afters and after those I will be showing y'all some home updates that we're working on. We are working in our daughter's room. She needed some painting done in there. She also needed new flooring in there. So that's going to be more of like a to be continued type thing on the channel right now until we get her room done. We're super excited about it. And then we can finally start in our bedroom and get that carpet out of there as well. So I'm so excited for that. I feel so blessed to have that because carpet and me, we just don't don't get along at all. So I'm really excited for these home updates and I'm excited to start working on some other things. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope y'all are feeling good. I hope y'all are feeling in the mood for some cleaning. So we had a really fun week last week. My in-laws were here. We were celebrating my husband's 36th birthday and we went to Comic-Con. We had a lot of fun, but the house did get very, very messy. I was not cleaning every single day. I wasn't doing all the things. I was just trying to enjoy the time with family and my husband. And like I said, we had a really good time at Comic-Con. We go every year. It's my husband's favorite thing to do for his birthday. When we used to live in Baytown. He used to love to go to the races, but now that we live here, he has found something else that he really enjoys, which is Comic-Con. He loves the autographs. He loves walking around and seeing all the art. That is his thing. He is a movie buff. I am more of a music buff, <laughs> so we are totally opposite in that er area, but we both enjoy each other's things so it was a lot of fun it's a very different vibe at comic-con but the kids absolutely love it all the costumes and they get to take pictures with all these different characters it's just a really good time for the family so we do that every year and yeah we've just been hanging out doing things around the house we have some projects like i said I'm so excited for the floors. I'm so excited for Jasmine's room to be done. She is going with a light blue and a pastel yellow in her room. And she says I can finally show y'all. So I'm going to be showing y'all all that. I always give her her privacy. She is our teen here. And she asks for the privacy. So we definitely give it to her. But she is wanting to show y'all the room now that it's changing. And she's getting it how she wants it to be. 
she found a really cute bed on Amazon that I need to order for her a bed frame and all that stuff but she's just loving it she's like me a lot with colors and she's really into the blue and yellow together right now as am I I am loving blue and yellow that's like my whole new thing now and she also loves like pink and green which is another vibe that I really love she's very good at art and she's very good at colors so she knows like she's only 14 but she knows what colors go with what and I think that's really going to help her out one day um it's definitely fun doing things with her because of her artistic side and just seeing what she can come up with and seeing how creative she is when I sit and watch her draw like even if she's drawing on her phone it is just fascinating to me how talented she is and how hard she works on everything that she does I just love it so so much so I was so excited that we we're able to get her room the way she wants it because I know that having that space that you love and makes you feel at peace is so so important so we're getting all that done and I'm loving it. I have not gotten to detail the truck because of the new projects that popped up. So I am I have that on the calendar for this month and I'm so excited to show y'all how we detail the truck and how we clean it. We might do the car as well because it needs it as well. We do drive older vehicles. We do not do car payments in this house. <laughs> also, we love our truck. It's a really really good truck it's got a great motor and that's all that really matters to us I also love the style of the truck because it's big enough for the family it does everything we need and I can always depend on it like I said not a fan of big payments um, just the way it, we've always been and it's how we live comfortably that's how we you know have our kids in karate and whatnot we don't go for the luxurious things that most people do, which I think is great. If you're into that stuff, go for it. Get out there and do it. But for us, that's just not our cup of tea. I'm not one of the ones that needs expensive things or anything like that. I just like quality stuff. So when y'all see the truck, yes, it's an older truck. But I think you're going to love it. And I think you're going to love it once it's cleaned. Because once it's clean, oh, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. But... Anyway, I'm going to keep on cleaning in here. I hope y'all are enjoying this. I hope it's getting you motivated. I'm just going to clean the stove really quick, the stove top. I was in between on this day cleaning. And also, let me tell you, you know, I bought the mold kits from Amazon to test to see if the house had mold because I was going through a lot of health issues. The boys have been congested and sick and coughing a lot. Jasmine would get headaches every now and then, our daughter, but... I wanted to check the house for mold just to be sure sure enough we go to pull her carpet out and there's mold in her room under the carpet i don't know what kind of mold it is i did do the test i'm waiting for the test to come back we have done uh, three things already to try to kill it so the first thing i did was put baking soda and vinegar because i read that bleach the mold will actually eat the bleach and grow so I didn't want to put bleach on it but I did put baking soda vinegar and then I also my husband had bought another chemical from the store that we sprayed on it that's supposed to kill it and cover it and stop it from growing and then we also bought a special paint that is supposed to cover mold and not let it grow anymore I don't know if it's all going to work. We're hoping and praying it does. We're going to do everything we can and then come back in a month or two and test it to make sure there's no mold in the air or in their rooms because that was one of my biggest fears and sure enough, there it was. So we're trying to take care of all that. So on this day, I was in between cleaning the house, dealing with the mold. I'm terrified of the mold because I don't know... <laughs> If that's maybe why my body was reacting so crazy with food and everything because like I've said I didn't have all these issues with food until maybe a year ago if that 
so they say that trauma can bring it on. So it could have been the motorcycle accident. It could be the mold. They say that certain foods that you eat will react to if you have mold toxicity. So we're just trying to take care of everything to get our health in order because that's like the most important thing for the family right now is that we're all healthy and thriving. So yeah, it's been an adventure the past few days trying to get this all taken care of. But Hopefully we won't come across any more mold. We'll see when we pull the carpet out of the room. As y'all know, we've had the carpet in our room since we got the house, which was five years ago. We've had Sadie. Jeremiah was also very little as well. So he would bring drinks in the room, milk in the room, all that stuff. I don't know what's under our carpet that could be maybe potentially making us sick as well so i'm so excited to get that all ripped out of here and then we won't have any carpet in the house it's just rugs from here on out so excited about that but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and keep on cleaning i needed to clean up the, the pantry a little bit it wasn't too bad we just had stuff thrown in here the boys have been getting rid of some of their toys and their plushies so i needed to bag those up and send them to get donated but I needed to just get this all situated because it was just getting hard to walk through back here and this room always gets crazy no matter how much I try we just throw things back here but I've been trying to keep it clean because I do enjoy it a lot better when I have to do laundry and it's just nice and tidy back here To express yourself in your own way And we could have some fun No problems coming in our way I would like you just the way you are And you would like me just the way I am And I would like you just the way you are The way you are oh. Keep on doing what you do Doing what you do just keep on doing what you do Keep on doing what you do Doing what you do Doing what you do Doing what you do Doing what you like Are just about done in here it feels so nice to have it all clean and tidy again so I can come back here and actually enjoy doing laundry not my favorite thing in the world to do but I do have to do it so it does help to have this room clean I'm just gonna sweep up everything in here really quick we're gonna keep on cleaning I hope you're enjoying this I was just thinking as I'm watching this video my husband and I had to run to the store to get something on this day and as we were walking in I was wearing my white tennis shoes and this outfit and I asked him do I dress like a girl's PE coach <laughs> because I kind of feel like that's what I dress like I don't know I have no like I'm always just trying to be comfortable all the time that's all I go for these days but I do wear my jeans every now and then or jean shorts they're mostly all falling off of me now though I'm they're just I don't know what to do about that. I cannot go buy all new clothes right now, but I'm just always a comfort over 
I don't know, style type person. Is anyone else like that? I used to always dress up and now I'm just at the house, at the house being comfy. So now we're in the kids bathroom. I needed to clean up in here. This door was absolutely filthy. It's crazy what you don't notice when you're cleaning all the time. I know I've talked to y'all about this before, but when you're cleaning constantly, you miss a lot of stuff. And I'm sure that when people come over, they notice the stuff that you have missed. So I need to really get better about that, cleaning the rooms from top to bottom, more than just spring cleaning. I need to do it more often, especially with the doors. They're white, they get dirty really fast, and I need to keep up with that better. So we're gonna try to do that this year. And also the floors, cleaning behind everything, like really getting in there and just trying to keep the house really, really clean is my goal this year. I know I have a lot to do with outside stuff, with the kids, with animals and all the things, but I do just, it makes me feel so much better to have the house clean and know that everybody's in good health and we don't have stuff creeping and crawling around or any germs lingering. I don't know. It just makes me feel really, really good to have the house all nice and tidy and clean. So I'm going to try to be better about that this year, like more of the really, really deep, deep cleaning because I feel like I've avoided some of that in the past. I feel like a lot of that has also had to do with my health, but also I've told y'all this before, just having a lot of stuff. I remember when we didn't have a lot of furniture, when we first moved in here, we were living in a travel trailer before that. And then we had built some rooms and a barn and we were living in there. And then we finally got the double wide and we didn't have a lot of furniture, of course. So when we moved in, I cleaned so much better because I didn't have anything in here and it does make the world of difference just how much stuff you collect is it's going to be hard to keep your house clean when you have tons and tons of stuff to move furniture everywhere uh, not every wall needs something I've learned that over the years too less is more definitely I still would love to put more shelves in the house more ghost shelves in the house I love those the really thick wood and have some books and stuff like that on there, especially now that Jeremiah is older. I will probably not have a toddler for uh, till I have my grandbabies, which we never know. That could be any day, but hopefully not too, too soon. I just know that now I can finally start having some things that I don't have to worry about getting torn up or broken. And I don't know if a lot of you know this, but I love books. I absolutely love books, but I like the old school way of reading. I don't like really reading on my phone or reading on computers. Um, so I'd rather go get actual books. And I think it's going to help a lot with my sleep as well, because when you're looking at the blue light, it does affect your brain and how you sleep and all that stuff. So I want to start going back to the old school me, like really like we're going 90s here. I want to start reading more, writing things down more, journaling, doing all those things just to kind of calm my mind down and step away from the screen. Like I really want to get out of that. So I'm definitely looking into all that and I'll keep y'all updated on how that goes. I just feel like I've lost myself when it comes to scrolling, even though I do keep my algorithms in line to where there's no negativity, there's nothing about the news, there's no controversial things. I don't want to be in that world. I choose not to. I know a lot of my friends, um, they have different priorities and it's beautiful to me that they're so invested in certain things and they, they have passion for those things. Um, but I personally cannot be involved <laughs> with everything because it really has an effect on my health. Um, I try not to watch the news. I don't really want to know everything going around on around every corner. I just don't. I shut that off. I am very um, protective of my children and, you know, myself. So, yes, I do take precautions and stuff like that. But I don't just sit and watch the news all day. I don't want to talk politics. I don't want to be involved in any kind of drama. Like it just hurts my soul and it sends me into a depression. 
I got really depressed during COVID. Like y'all were there for that. My, it, it was just too much and I can't handle those things. So I've realized that it's best for me to keep my algorithm on health and motivation, business, things like that. So with Instagram, I can get on there and I know my algorithm is going to be full of either my girlfriends that do the same work as me or it's going to be positive motivational speakers, business, and health. That's literally all I see on Instagram and I love that. Uh, Facebook is a little different because you have your personal friends over there and you never know what they're going to say or what they're going to post or whatever. And for me, it's just a bit much, especially with this season approaching. I will probably not want to be on Facebook very much when the politics start rolling in and all that. I am not there for it. I do not have anything to do with it. Uh, for me, it's private. But for everyone else like that wants to argue and go at each other, I just got to stay away from that. So I'm definitely going to be looking for some really good books to read. And um, going back to, like I said, the journaling and just writing things down. And I don't know. I just miss that. I miss the... I the nostalgia of that, like just going back and not being looking at a screen all the time. I just I want that back in my life. And with my health getting better, I just that's one of many things that's coming back to me is just wanting to cut off all the negativity and just be in my own zone. And yeah, do my own thing. I don't know. Is anybody else feeling that way? Like, I don't want to deal with all the rage that everybody else is going through. I don't want to deal with all the fighting and the drama. I can't. It just has such an effect on my body. I cannot deal with it. But that's another reason why I like to clean my house. It's very therapeutic for me. I've told y'all that in the past. Like, it just feels so good. Like, on this day, I know I didn't listen to anything all day. I don't have a TV on. I don't have anything in my ears. It's just me and my little head. And I'm just thinking and doing my own thing in my own little peaceful world. And I love that. I absolutely love that. How do y'all clean? Do you need to have something on in the background? I know when my husband works, I don't turn the TV on all day. I've always been like that. I am not a TV person. If I'm going to listen to anything, it's going to be music, which these days I don't listen to music as much as I used to, but I will listen to like a really interesting podcast, especially if it's about business or health. That's my favorite thing to do. Um, but yeah, this day I didn't listen to anything. I was just hanging out, chilling doing my thing and I absolutely enjoyed it so so much it's so good to just clear your head of everything so that is how the house turned out I absolutely love my house when it's all clean and cozy like this I get to walk through and just know everything's in its place and I don't have to worry about anything and just waking up in the morning to a fresh clean house is the best feeling in the world I absolutely love it so I hope y'all enjoyed the cleaning portion of today's video. Now we're gonna head over and I'm gonna show you what's going on in Jasmine's room. Here we are in Jasmine's room and we are in the process of painting all the walls. I know you can't tell the color. It's more of a bluish white color. It's really pretty, but we had issues with the floor. We were killing the mold and trying to get that all out of here. Today, we just painted it. I'm going to go back in there after this voiceover. We're going to do some more painting, try to make a pretty color for her trim and all that good stuff. I did paint this part of her trim up here at the top but really just to have a white like this paint had primer in it so I'm just trying to prime that dark wood up there because we want to lighten everything up in here she wants her room very light I'm also going to show y'all the floors we got which we should be laying tomorrow hopefully if everything goes well um so that should be interesting we've never done that before we've heard from other experienced people that it's not as easy as it looks so we're gonna see how that all goes uh we usually work really well together and you know it's the 
typical husband and wife thing. I'm sure he gets irritated and frustrated with me because I can't always comprehend. Like, it's just we see things so different. Um, when he, when my husband explains something to me, he can see it perfectly. I can't. And then vice versa, if I'm trying to explain something to him, he can't see my vision. And we go through that sometimes, but we always work through it. And we always come together at the end of the day and we're still best friends. So that's all that really matters. But I will show y'all the process of laying the floor and all that. Like I said, this is going to be just a little extra, you know, thing that we're doing. I, like I said, don't film her room much because of her privacy, but when we do little updates like this, I will let y'all in on it so y'all can see what's going on. We also have to paint her ceiling. As you can see up there, it's pretty dirty. She used to have a bed that was very, it was a, it was a desk underneath and then it had a ladder and so she would be up here at the top. So I, we need to paint the ceilings as well. We need to paint all the ceilings in the house. And that is something that I'm not looking forward to at all. <laughs> but it has to be done every now and then. So we'll be looking into that as well in the future. But for right now, we're just worried about the walls and the trim and the floors. I wanted to get down here as close as I could to the floor because I don't know what kind of trim we're going to put in here. There was no trim because of the carpet in this room. So, well, in any of the rooms, we're going to have to put trim in all the rooms once we put the uh, tile or not the tiles, the planks down. So I didn't know how far to go. So I just took it all the way down. I didn't know if we were going to do a thin strip down here or a thick strip down here, but I just wanted to make sure it was all covered. And I wanted to get all the painting done before we even put any furniture or anything in here, any floors, because it just makes it so much easier. You don't have to worry about so much prepping. The only reason I was holding this cardboard um, fruit snack piece of box <laughs> cardboard, I don't know what I was trying to say right there, but 
it was just to keep it from getting dirty because I still need to come in here. We need to pull out some of these staples and screws and get the floor like super, super clean before we lay everything down. So I'll be working on that too today, hopefully, and also working on getting uh, her color for the trim. And we'll, we'll, I want to do er all the painting before we put the floor in. Like I said, it's just going to make everything so much easier. So that's what we're working on for the next couple of days. And I will be filming all this for y'all so y'all can see how it goes. I don't know when we're going to go get the trim. Hopefully soon we'll see because my husband said we need the trim. So that way it holds down the floor and we don't have any pill ups or anything like that. So Hopefully we'll go get the trim soon and get it all cut to size and do all the things that we need to do there. But yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I'm also going to hop on and, and show y'all the floors that we got. She wanted to go with a really light color. Like I said, she's into very light and bright things these days. So I absolutely love that because I'm also into light and bright things. Uh, we're just really vibing there. And um, yeah, I'll show y'all how everything turns out once it's all done. But I'm going to go ahead and just keep on painting. And like I said, I'll show y'all the floor we got. And then in the next video, we'll do some more painting in here. Get it all prepped and ready for the floor. I don't know when that when you're actually going to see the finished product in here. But I will just try to record every day that we're doing something in here. Because we'll be working on it every day. She's not sleeping in here right now. She's sleeping in the living room. One, because of the mold, and two, because there's nothing to sleep on in here. So we had to keep her out of the room. I know she misses it, so we're going to try to work really hard to get it all done for her soon. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and quit talking. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it got you motivated. And like I said, I hope everybody's doing well, feeling good, and all the things. And I will see you on the next one. I love you all so much. Take care of each other. Bye, guys. I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself I'm gonna I'm not